So, supervisor, yesterday, he sent someone to come down to help me out at one of my stations. So, when this co-worker came down there, he was like, well, I don't know why he sent me down here. You're like a powerhouse around here. And I didn't hear him say the whole comment. I just heard, I don't know why he sent me down here because it was noisy and everything. So I said, um, excuse me, what did you just say? So he basically said the same thing. Um, I don't know why he sent me down here. You're like a powerhouse. Um, mind you, we do a lot of manual labor. So I was like, well, what do you mean by that? He was like, well, you get up to do, you're a good scam. I said, so does that mean um, I don't deserve to get any help? Then he changed his, you know, his whole as he was like, no, 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 I help you, I help you, I help you. Now, my thing is this. Okay. I'm the type of person, I like to be surrounded by people that is going to help me. I don't like a lot of BS for that because my mindset is to get the job done and get out of here. Because you're mad. I don't know if you, you folks are right in my mind or what it is. But why, people please think before you open your mouth. Think before you open your mouth for real. Because, I mean, that statement to me, it, it was like, he was patronizing me, but yet, in my, you know, to me, he was stabbing me in the back at the same time. You know, I know what I'm talking about, you know, as far as snakes in the company and things like that. Because they see you're a good worker, most of the people, they feel threatened by you, so they don't want to help you. You know, they think it is, and then they hide behind, well, she a good worker. Okay, if I'm good, I'm a good worker, treat me like I'm a good worker. That's my thing. Treat me like I am. You claim you respect me, but you don't show it. That's my thing. And then he changed his subject. He was like, well, I only help two people. I don't I don't help two people out around here, but I don't want to say their name. Um, I'm one of them because he normally don't help me. Okay, that was like the first time he ever like helped me somebody had to tell you to help me and you're a grown ass man come on man get real you know I knew he was full of shit then he was like trying to patronize me like you were one of the top workers here you're a powerhouse okay what that's supposed to mean so oh I'm the powerhouse around here so I don't deserve no help I don't deserve to get assistance from none of y'all you know, I, I just got the, and then, you know, they treat me like that, but then, like, when my husband come around, whatever, like that, you know, they want to be all phony and act like they miss, miss the help for all of a sudden. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate being disrespected like that. You know, that's just, you know, one of the stupid ass things I have to go through in the workplace. You know, because, you know, times is hard. You just can't up and quit your job. So, you know, I just have to tolerate this until something better come on. That's just how it is. You know, my work, you know, I'm content with my work. It's just some of the people in the dumb ass shit I got to do with that I don't like. You know, you just need to wake up and think about what the hell they're saying before they even say it. Because he thought it was funny, but then when he saw the series of my face, I was like, I don't see nothing funny about it. You know, because the same folks that said the same thing, exact thing that he was saying to me, because I've been on the job for nearly nine years, are the same ones that, you know, stabbed me in the back. Uh, the same ones that want to go before me and, and blow your spot up. And the same ones snitching on you. And the same ones lying on you, you know, when you're not doing that, when you, if they don't have anything on you, they're lying on you and make up things. That's just how it is. I come to me, I do what I do, and I get the hell up out of there, and they find real nitpicking stuff, you know, to, to mess with you about. And, you know, and I'm, I'm like, and I'm talking about 
30 something, 40 something year old people. I'm not talking about no young folk. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about people that's like old enough to know better. People that got grandchildren. I mean, come the hell on. We got people that got grandchildren that supervisors telling other folk single comments. That'll help her. She fat and slow. What the hell? What kind of dumb crap is that? See, that's grounds, you know, to get somebody that, for a lawsuit, really. And uh, cause that person better be, be glad I didn't hear that. Didn't hear that comment. But, you know. Dumb as they know that a couple years later I was the madness person, so. But anyway. You know, that's just some things I have to get off my chest. Like, you know, powerhouse. What, what does it mean to be a powerhouse? You know. Don't patronize me. And then at the same time you stab me in the back. And then, okay. This guy, this co-worker. Yeah, he helped me out. And, you know, we got the, um. We got to work down or whatever like that. So the supervisor came on. He was like, oh, yeah, I got finished quick. He going to say, um, she did most of the work and this and that. Like, trying to patronize me that you stabbed me in the back at the same time doing some sleep under his sneaky shit. Like, trying to say, um, without saying it, well, you know, I don't want to help him because she got it. Why should I bust my ass and let you sit there and talk, 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 talk? Throughout the whole short. That's not right. But yet, yeah, if I do that, you go and get your snitch to the manager. Oh, uh, look at her. She just staying there talking. She ain't doing no work. All of a sudden, I ain't doing no work, but I'm the powerhouse up in here. But then you want to turn around and snitch her. You know, that, that's that's a confused individual right there. That's confusing. Then they act like then they wonder why I act the way I do up in the workplace. They wonder. They wonder why. You know. That's just some things I just gotta get off my chest right now. Um, one of the days in the life in the workplace, you 